Hey folks, I just wanted to make a quick video to show folks how they could upload PowerPoint slides into their Canvas shells so that it might be easier to share them with your students, particularly if this is the first time that you're using Canvas to share files with students during this uh, during this strange time. So let's go ahead and uh, give a little preview. I'm currently in a empty shell that was created for me by my college. The only thing that comes in our shell is that we tend to have kind of like a start here module that has some basic tools. Um, some instructors choose just to delete that. Other instructors will go ahead and publish that, but we're not gonna worry too much about that today. Instead, I'm just gonna show you the process of uploading files into the file section, and then how you could create a page and link to those various, uh, to those various files. So let's go ahead and dive into that. The first place that you want to click once you're in your Canvas shell is look for this files section. And so it should show up over here on the left hand side. By default, the files section is not visible to students. Most instructors prefer it that way since they have a bunch of stuff in there and instead prefer just to link directly to files. That said, at the end of this video, I will show you how you can just upload stuff there and make the entire thing visible if that was something you're interested in doing. So let's go ahead and go to files as the instructor. Once you're in files, you'll see that it will bring up a section that looks like this. If you have a completely blank shell, there may not be anything here at this point, but if you're using a shell like my college does where there's some pre-populated content, you might see some stuff here. My suggestion is to try to organize things by folders like you would on your desktop, um, and it just helps keep things a lot less uh, chaotic than if you have just a bunch of stuff in the root directory. So I'm gonna start by creating a folder here, and I'm just gonna call this folder class slides. Click the little check button here when I'm done. And then you can see that this folder has now been, uh, been created. I'm gonna go ahead and then click on that folder to go into it, and this gives me a blank space where I'm able to upload some, uh, some files. Now, just to flash over to my desktop, I have already downloaded all of the textbook supplied PowerPoints for my uh, my class. I use a public speaking textbook that is an OER textbook, but still has PowerPoints called the Exploring Public Speaking uh, Project. Uh, they're currently on their fourth edition. It's a really great book, and I'll link to uh, a their URL in the description of this video if it's something that you want to check out. But anyways, you can see in this folder, I've got all of the PowerPoints that they have supplied for, uh, for my class, and they're kind of your typical textbook supplied, uh, supplied PowerPoints that you might want to share as they've got some good information for students. Obviously, you can use any PowerPoints, including the ones that you have designed personally for your, uh, for your course. Um, so those are sitting on my desktop. So I'm gonna go back to Canvas now, and what I wanna do here is upload those files to, uh, to Canvas. There's actually kind of two different ways that you can do this. Um, one, you can click this Upload button, and then go ahead and navigate to the folder that you're wanting to share, and then you can find which PowerPoint you wanna put up. So let's say, for example, should have renamed these beforehand, uh, but if I wanted to share um, well, I'm just going to go ahead and share chapter six since that seems to be at the top. I go ahead and click on it and I can click open and this is going to upload it into this, uh, to this folder. The second way that you can perhaps more easily upload a bulk of files is just to kind of put your windows side by side like this and then select all of the files that you want to copy over. And I'm just going to select the rest of them and I'm going to drag and drop them over uh, over on my slide. Sometimes you have to wait for the little drop items to upload button to appear. And then that will go ahead and do them all. The only word of caution that I will give you is like these PowerPoints are relatively small file types. As you can see, as they're uploading, most of them sit here in this, uh, um, you know, 190 to... Um, even less than that range and so really all of these uh, together um, looks to only be 
Yeah, yeah, like two megabytes, so pretty, uh, pretty small. I do know on some of my custom PowerPoints where I've embedded high resolution images and videos, they're far higher than that. And you do tend to have a cap in your canvas shells. It tends to be about a, uh, it tends to be about 500 megabytes, maybe less depending on your institution. So just be careful not to overwhelm your stuff. And if you uh, are worried about having bigger files, using a cloud sharing platform to link to uh, PowerPoints such as Google uh, Drive or Dropbox may be a better solution for, uh, for you and your students. Once you have all of those files uploaded, now you're able to share them with your students. And again, as I mentioned, you could just open the file section and instruct students to go to that page. But I think the better method here is instead to build out some pages for students where they can uh, link directly to them. So I'm going to show that process. And I'm just going to put one page together and link to a couple files. But obviously, you could put together a page for each uh, module or chapter or even use the module tools and have them embedded in, uh, in there. But nonetheless, we'll do the in an easy way because the process is basically the similar uh, similar regardless of where you use it so i'm going to go ahead and click i went to the pages tool and i clicked a new page and i'm going to create a page called class slides all right so what i would probably want to do here now is just create uh, space to kind of link to individual files and so let's say that i wanted to put up chapter two chapter six and chapter 14. Obviously you could do this for all of those and I guess it helps to uh, spell chapter correctly. All right, so at this point, like an easy way to link to uh, files is just to select the text that you've typed, click over here on files and you can see up here at the top is that folder that I created called class slides. And I would just want to kind of scroll down through here and find the correct file. So here's my chapter uh, two uh, PowerPoint. I click it and now that link is uh, link is live. And let's see if I can find the uh, chapter six. You know, a good pro tip is to rename your uh, your files so that they're a little easier to uh, uh, to do. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to cheat since I see chapter five right there. We're going to go ahead and put chapter five in. And there's my chapter, oops, chapter five in. And then I see my chapter 14 was somewhere in here. There it is. All right, and again, you could do that for all of them, but you get the idea. I'm gonna click save and publish. And now in this very simple point, a student click on one of uh, one of these and it would download it onto their computer so that they're able to uh, to see them bam all right so that's probably the easiest method in uh, in a nutshell if you did just want to like upload them and make the files available which is probably okay if really the only thing you have on canvas is some assignment guides and uh, perhaps some um, some of these types of files. You could go and just make your entire fileable section viewable by going into settings and then going down here and finding the files tool. This is under the navigation sub tab. So you can see like sometimes it pops here first, but you go to navigation, drag files from down here to up here, click save. And now when you publish course, students will actually be able to go into the file section and they'll see something that kind of looks like uh, like this and they would be able to hypothetically find your class slides uh, folder and you could directly link to this folder if you wanted to do it that way and try to treat it a little bit like a cloud, uh, cloud storage database. Well, that was a kind of like quick and dirty way of uh, kind of exploring how to embed PowerPoint slides. Um, again, I know we are in strange times, but I hope this information is useful to you all. And if you have questions, feel free to go ahead and ask them down in the comments. All right, folks, thanks for watching and good luck.